Our objective is to build this 8-bit adder. You'll see you have input A here, consisting of 8 bits. Input B, with another 8 bits. We have output here, 8 bits. We have a carry in, and we have a carry out. The 8-bit adder at this main level is composed of two 4-bit adders. If we drill down, we see that the 4-bit adders are composed of four full adders. If we drill one more level down, we find the individual gates which make up a full adder. Here are the inputs A and B, carry in, and outputs carry out and sum. We're going to spend the rest of this video exploring how to make this 8-bit adder. Remember, it has three levels. We start with the lowest level where we have a full adder. At the intermediate level, we have a 4-bit adder composed of four individual full adders. And at the main level, we have a 8-bit adder which is composed of two 4-bit adders. And now we're going over to a brand new circuit. We're going to insert a few more things in here, including the full adder. Right click, paste. There we go. We're going to add one more circuit. We're going to call that the 4-bit adder. The full adder isn't that remarkable, except you have to label the input and output connections. And if you recall, the input connections look like that. Right? We've used those before. Um, but what we haven't done is we haven't named them. So if you click on a connector, and then you come down here, you see where it says Label? That's where you can change the name. So if we wanted to change this you know, to a bunch of A's, we could do that, or we could just leave it as A. We do the same with the output connections. Here, that one's called Sum. And here, this one is called C out. When that's done, we want to edit the layout. This is important because this is how the box will be presented at the next level. So when we go here to the 4-bit adder, we're going to instantiate this box. All right, so we want to move these connectors to a place that makes sense cosmetically and makes our circuit a little easier to lay out later on. Sum there, carry in, carry out. By doing this, we can move the position of the title. And we can also make the box a little smaller. All right, so that looks reasonably well. And when you're done, hit Save. So now we're done with the full adder, we can progress to the 4-bit adder. What we'll do now is we'll insert a sub-circuit. And we want the full adder. So there's one, and we want four of them. We can connect the carries together. We can add an input connector for the carry in. We can add an output connector for carry out. We can add an output connector for our sums. We'll want this one to be four bits wide. We'll use our splitter and for this particular one, we want the bit width to be 4, and then we want each branch to have 1 bit. And the last thing we want is we want this to point in the up direction. So somewhere around there should be good. Then we can wire it up.
Remember that this splitter will take four individual wires and convert them into a 4-bit bus. Now we need to add the inputs. So we'll add a 4-bit input for A and a 4-bit input for B. We'll use the splitter again. Bit width 4, each split being 1 bit. And now we wire everything up. This is our 0 bit for A, our 1 bit for A, 2 bit for A, the 0 bit for B, the 1 bit for B, 2 and 3. The last step is we need to label the rest of our connectors. So this one here is carry in. This one is carry out. And this one is sum. This is a good time to test your circuit. For example, here we have B as 4, then A as 1, and when you add those together, you should get 5. If we put the carry in to 1, now we should see the number 6. Moving on, we need to edit the layout. This is a process similar to what we did before. Don't forget to hit save. Once we're at the top level, we right click, insert subcircuit. We want to put in that 4 bit adder we just developed. And we put in the second one as well. And from this point, I think you guys can carry out the rest of the operations to make a full 8 bit adder.